Merry Christmas everyone! It's a few days before Christmas and I'd love to share with you how I made these beautiful Yule logs. Um, I'll be sharing with you how I made the macrons, the feelings that I put on the macrons, the kind of technique I use, how I painted the macrons as well. In addition, I'll be sharing with you how I made the sponge cake for the Yule log, um, how I roll it, the whipped cream frosting or filling that I use for it, and then of course the German buttercream that I use. This video is going to be part of a multi-series. I hope you follow along and you enjoy this as much as I enjoy making it for you. Alright then, let's get started. So you want to start off by preparing your baking pan. So you want to put your template under your parchment paper and then lay that on your baking tray. I'll have a link to the template in the description box below. So next I'm going to pulse together my powdered sugar and my almond meal um, until it's nice and fine. Alternately you can sift together the powdered sugar and the almond meal and then set aside uh, the fine parts. Alright next we're going to move on to making the meringue. Add your egg whites and cream of tartar to your mixing bowl. Um, you want to make sure your mixing bowl and your whisk are really really clean. You can wipe them down with white vinegar just to make sure you don't have any added fat in the mixing bowl or on the whisk. And then whisk until the egg whites are nice and frothy. So you want to do this on uh, a medium speed. Once it looks nice and frothy, you want to start adding the sugar slowly to the egg and tartar mix. So add that slowly and then you can increase the speed to medium high. So keep that going until your meringue is nice and glossy. And then keep whisking until you have until you get stiff peaks like this. So next you want to add the almond meal and powdered sugar in three increments. So that's the first increment. You want to fold that in. Make sure that you're scraping the sides of the bowl and the bottom of the bowl as well. Once you're done, do the second increment. Same thing, fold it in, J strokes. So you want to scrape the side of the bowl and then the bottom of the bowl so you can get all of that and then pour in the rest of your almond meal and powdered sugar and then fold that in as well until it's all well combined. Now do not over mix because we're going to be splitting this into two. So now take half and it doesn't have to be exact, scoop out half of the mixture into a bowl and so that mixture is the one that we're going to be coloring pink. And we're going to leave the other half with the natural color of white. So for this, keep mixing and pressing against the side of the bowl until the mixture looks like thick honey. So I know some people count the number of strokes, uh, a number of turns that they make of the, of the macron batter when you do the macronage. But usually I do it just by sight. I don't bother counting and I'm not too fussed about it. So I'll keep going until I get the, the texture that I want and then once I have that I will be coloring the, the other part of the batter and then I'll scoop them into a piping bag. So here I'm adding my food coloring and same as before I will do the same with pressing against the sides of the bowl trying to get out some of the extra air and then mixing this until I get the texture that I'm looking for. Again, I'm looking for like a thick honey texture. And then sometimes when you press it against the bowl, you'll see uh, the macaron butter falling back on itself. And then you know, you know it's ready at that point. So next I'm going to put this in a piping bag. So I'm starting off with the pink macarons. And you want to pipe straight down at 90, 90 degrees, right? So just keep pressing down and piping down onto your parchment paper. Next, I'm doing the same thing with the white um, macron batter and I'm going to take that as well and then pipe straight down onto the parchment paper and because I'm working with pink and white and I don't mind having some swirls in there so that'll give me some macrons that have white swirls and then I'll have some that are just plain white, I'll have some that are plain pink and that's fine by me. So push down all of that and then pipe again onto your parchment paper using the template as your guide. 90 deg degrees straight down again. So once you're done piping 
the macarons hit your baking tray very hard several five to six times to get rid of any extra air in the macarons and then if you find that you have some tips on the top of your macarons just wet your fingers and push them down a little bit so slide the templates out from under the parchment paper and then leave your macarons to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes until the top is dull and no longer wet before you bake bake at 300 degrees fahrenheit using the convection um, setting in your oven and bake for between 18 to 20 minutes until they're done you'll know your macarons are done when you can peel them off the parchment paper easily and the top of the macarons no longer slide when you touch them in the oven leave them to rest for at least 10 minutes before you start decorating to decorate, add some luster dust and a few drops of vodka into a bowl. Mix them together until you get a paint-like consistency. So highlight some of the macarons with um, some brush strokes of paint. So here I'm using silver, luster dust and vodka. And so I'm going to put a bit of that on the top of some of the macarons. Next, I'm going to do the same thing with my uh, burgundy gel food coloring. So just add a little bit of vodka to that as well to thin it out. And I put a few brush strokes on the top of the macarons. So the vodka will dry off and will not leave the top of the macarons wet or sticky at all. So once you're done with that, we're going to move on to adding our edible silver leaf to the top of the macarons. So that I'm going to use uh, my brush to peel off some of the edible silver leaf and then I'll put that on the top of the macarons so here I'm using a toothpick to help me put that on as well so for these macarons I'll be filling them with some jam some jam filling so this is a raspberry jam filling um, this is nice and light and will not be too sweet and be perfect for these macarons since I'll be placing them on a cake. So you want to make sure you don't put too much of the jam on there so it doesn't run off the sides and it's just enough to make the macarons moist. Once you're done filling your macarons, keep them in your fridge in an airtight container for about 12 to 48 hours so they can mature and so they are nice, chewy and delicious. So this is the end of this video. I hope you follow along and watch the next part of the series so you can see how I make the other parts of this year log. Um, enjoy the Christmas season. Enjoy your time with friends and family. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Bye.